I am a partner in our white collar group and also in our international trade groups. My practice really focuses on U.S. economic sanctions, anti-money laundering regulations and laws, and anti-corruption advice, or advising our clients on a really day-to-day -day basis, helping our clients to manage their day-to-day -day operations and make sure they can stay compliant in a really fast-paced, changing regulatory environment. In today's world, there's a much larger focus and a shift of resources toward national security priorities. And that's really gonna move a lot of the conversation to areas that clients have not traditionally expended the same amount of resources on, and perhaps even more importantly, don't have the internal sort of knowledge base and understanding of. A much larger part of a white collar practice and a much larger part of a compliance constituency's investigations are going to be focused on these cross-border supply chain issues, focused on for our tech clients who are providing app-based services or remote software services, focused on how they're vetting access to their services and vetting their customers who are in foreign jurisdictions. Those are all going to become much bigger issues in the near term. The most important thing is to understand thoroughly the facts that you have at issue before approaching the government, and then advocate for the best result we can come to for the client. And our approach has always been, and met with much success, really developing a deeply cooperative relationship with the government. That goes a long way to getting our clients to successful resolutions. It also goes a long way to sort of mitigating what can be very expensive overreach by the government. I love relationships where I really get to know my clients and know them, not just you know my one client contact, but know them well enough that my client contact can rely on me to go find the resources throughout the client to get something done. I got into the kind of business of designing programs through some really big high profile enforcement actions early in my career. And that process gave me a lot of insight into what it's like to be an in-house compliance attorney. I really enjoy that because we build long-term relationships and you get to feel like you're part of the team.